Hello, this is Miles McGeehan, and I'm going to share with you the use of a wiki within an LMS. I have a wiki tab on the left hand side of the menu here. And I've got one wiki created. A student would click on the title of the wiki. And then, as a teacher, I took the liberty of signing up a student account. And I created a wiki example here titled Student Example. But notice that there are other wiki pages that students have made in the past over here on the right hand side. In this particular example, students were responsible for working as a specialist researching uh, different aspects of the ecosystem around Antarctica. And students graphed data that they've found and, and uh, created a summary as well as some pictures and so forth. They put all this together within the wiki and uh, as you can see here it's a pretty nice interactive space. There is also a place that other students could leave a comment. And notice that any other student could jump in and edit the wiki content so this is a open collaborative space. Here's one other example, another group or another student uh, created this wiki page. This particular student was looking at uh, biologist uh, uh, information regarding krill in the ocean. <clears throat> and so um, kind of a, a neat digital jigsaw activity here. Each group of students was responsible to be a different expert in this ecosystem uh, approach. Notice also in the top right corner, now this is within the instructor view, there is a participation summary. And this is a way that an uh, instructor could potentially um, grade students in participation. They can see that students had participated and made different modifications and so forth. Um, the amount of different page uh, saves or percentage of input that the student uh, included, etc. Uh, a teacher could also include a rubric within the wiki. Uh, I did not for this particular activity. Uh, and with that rubric, uh, a teacher could simply just check off different parts of the rubric, uh, proficiencies and so forth, and it would uh, sum that information together into the LMS gradebook, which is quite convenient. So to review, uh, as the instructor, I created a tab over here, uh, a menu button titled Group Wikis that gave students direct access. I could also create a connection within the content area uh, to the wikis. And uh, then I've got just one wiki built, but if I wanted more wikis throughout the course, I could just create a new one here. And then uh, students would be able to, to join the wiki and create their own individual pages regarding the, the content of the course. Another option, a teacher could create multiple wikis and each wiki could be titled like group one, group two, group three regarding a certain topic and that way uh, students would be assigned a particular number, uh, group number, they would log in and that would make it a, a, a smaller venue so that students had more opportunity to provide uh, content and uh, contribution. One other interesting idea to consider, recycle the previous year's wiki information and have the new students act as editors. They would have to decide what's the best information to keep and also add some of their own information to further augment the en and enrich the wiki. Kind of a neat way to, to show how information is built upon. Kind of that idea in science where you stand on top of the shoulder of giants. Well that's a short overview and an example of a wiki within an LMS. In the upcoming slides you'll learn more about how to build one of these step by step. Uh, through some short videos. Thanks, and until next time, have a great day.